Hi, this is a short overview of what you can do with the new SketchUp Foveate extension. Alrighty, let's get started. So we have our SketchUp project here, and I've put it into a style where it has all these different textures on it, and the new versions of SketchUp that have more realistic materials, this will all transfer over. Now, Foveate's how you can create 3D presentations out of your SketchUp files. So if you install the new Foveate extension, go to Extensions, Extension Manager, then you can install it here. You download the RVZ, or you can go to the extension warehouse page, and then you can find it searching for Foveate, and then install it from here. Foveate does require you to have a subscription in order to benefit the most from Foveate 3D presentations, but there's uh, a lot of things you can do with this. For example, on this TV screen here, we can jump to the moment or the scene uh, living room, we can see that I've assigned this material called video. Now, any materials with the name video spelled like this, exactly like this, uh, will be available for you to place a video onto in Foveate. And all of the scenes that you have in SketchUp, these different camera points of view, will be translated into Foveate's moment system, which is a spatial storytelling system. And all of the titles, the names and descriptions that are inside of uh, each scene, plus their camera uh, FOV and their uh, current camera placement will be reflected in Foveate. So just click the Foveate extension here. I've already signed in, but it will prompt you to sign in with your account. Press Create Foveate Scene. Now what this will do, if you press Start Export, is that it will go into your SketchUp scene and that it will optimize and compress your model and then convert all the textures that are inside of your SketchUp model into PBR uh, textures so that they can be rendered more realistically in Foveate. Uh, it will combine all of your meshes and then it will losslessly compress uh, your uh, project here so that it can quickly be sent to anybody just on a link, similar to Google Slides or Figma or something like that. And then that way you can share it to any device. So your teammates uh, or your clients, they don't need to download another app in order to view your 3D scene in real time. So I'll let this export here. Now Foveate is going through the steps of optimizing the model for you. Depending on how big your scene, in, scene is, this can take longer or shorter. And then these blue spheres are how it's converted the uh, SketchUp scenes here into moments. So those are a little visual cue of all of those being converted. And you can press create new scene. All right. Now we'll automatically open your browser and now you will have your SketchUp model. And all of your SketchUp scenes are now moments. Okay, so now we can do things like go to the scene settings here and be able to change the background. So let's change just the image sphere. And now Foveate has a library of HDRs that are all uh, optimized for you to use. We'll pick Desert Dusk, and these change the lighting and reflections in your scene as well as the background. Now with Foveate, you can invite people. So it could be your team members. So I'll add Ian here. Now he's been added to the team as an editor. I could email invite, let's say, a client and make them a viewer so they can view, so they can't change. I could embed this on a website. I can change how the public viewer looks and make it uh, available for anyone to see. But let's go here and show you some other features. So let's say that you have some uh, PDF drawings and some renders of your project. So you can do things like Take those in, and I've already created uh, some of them with Enscape in SketchUp. That's appeared in our scene. See a little preview here. And if we go to the moment that corresponds with that point of view, we can go to the moment tab and now pick that image to appear inside of the moment box here. So that when someone goes to this moment, this button will appear. And click that 
they get a preview of what this scene is supposed to look like, this point of view is supposed to look like with your high-end render. So this way you can have the best of both worlds where you have an interactive 3D presentation that really allows someone to understand space. And then you can have the high quality visuals that really sell uh, ultimately what this thing is supposed to look like at the highest capacity. And that's not all. So for example, um, now you want to uh, be able to show this in the context of drawings. So we'll go to the plan view here. We could take a PDF drawing that we made in SketchUp layout, drag and drop that in. And then go back to our moment here. And then under PDF here, we can pick that PDF. So similar to the render uh, moment, we can see this PDF icon pop up. And if someone comes to this moment, then they can just click that and see the drawing in context. So they know exactly uh, where they were and how this drawing with measurements can give them more context into the scale of the project. Okay. Now we can do things also like add some post-processing. The foveate automatically has ambient occlusion turned on. We can crank that up to make it more realistic and add some more spatial cues. Then we can add other effects like bloom. So that for emissive things in the scene, they'll appear to glow more like the background there. Turn on things like God rays, more volumetrics, do some color grading, some vignetting, some noise. This way we can give people a more realistic representation of the space, all interactively. And this allows anyone to use Foveate just like a slide deck.